Hello everybody and welcome to Battle of the Films. Today we are going to be comparing Batman 1989 versus The Dark Knight. The categories that we'll be covering are story, characters, acting, music, and cinematography. Sometimes we'll cover special effects, but not in this video. Each category Only is worth if two... the years are more aligned. Exactly. And each category is worth 10 points, and at the end of the video, we will reveal which movie won. So without All further right. ado, let's begin. First category, story. All right, you For go me. first, Justin. All right. For me, The Dark Knight wins in the story category, mainly because while Batman 1989 tells a pretty good story overall, I feel The Dark Knight is more compelling with its themes of terrorism, anarchy, and heroism. I feel like... The dark, and plus, The Dark Knight is basically a crime thriller in disguise as a superhero film, which allows for more intense and dramatic moments. 89 is still a really fun movie, and I enjoy watching it a lot, but The Dark Knight definitely takes the cake in terms of the story. I definitely agree. The terrorist approach to The Dark Knight is something new in superhero films, and they did great doing that here. It is a non-stop drama start to finish. I mean, you look at these other movies, there's usually settling times where you can just lay back and relax. In the dark night, it is non-stop start to finish. It'll keep your eyes appealed on the screen. Batman 1989 has a great plot, but it does not do what the Dark Knight has accomplished in movie history. It, dark Knight definitely is one of the greatest films of all time, so it definitely beats Batman 1989 in story here. Batman 89, um, <clears throat> it uh, had more of a superhero approach while The Dark Knight was more of a realistic, dark crime approach. Couldn't agree more, my friend. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next category, characters. Which movie had the more compelling characters? For me, I'm also going to be giving the point to The Dark Knight. Mainly because I actually feel like the Batman and the Joker characters are way better written in this movie than in the other one. I think that the Batman 1989 features a very good representation of Batman, but Keaton's Batman doesn't do a very well, very good job uh, portraying Bruce Wayne. I feel like Christian Bale is a better Bruce Wayne, and Heath Ledger's Joker is just way more electrifying whenever he's on screen. He's way more intimidating as a villain. So for me, Joker is uh, Heath Ledger's Joker is the better Joker. I also think that Rachel is a more interesting fam female character than Vicky Vale. So the Dark Knight wins in the character category for me. Even if you didn't mention any other thing, the Dark Knight would have win. You know why? Because Heath... Ledger was the Joker, all right? Jack Nicholson played a great Joker, and I absolutely loved it. But Heath Ledger is something that no one has ever seen on screen in this movie. He deserved his Oscar. Rip him. All right, Christian Bell was a great Batman, and I think that his Bruce Wayne acting was much better than Michael Keaton's also. Rachel was a great character, and immediately you grew connected with her. Not only that... But my goodness, Commissioner Gordon had such a touchy feeling in The Dark Knight that Batman 1989 did not have. He was such a heartwarming character, and you needed him in a movie this crime-filled. Uh, Michael Caine was definitely a great Alfred, but Michael <sighs> Gouch in Batman 1989 definitely beat over Michael Caine. But both of them were great. And I really couldn't agree better with their choices in both movies of an Alfred. But definitely, overall, The Dark Knight wins here. Agreed. So now we're going to move on to acting. I understand we kind of already touched on the acting a little bit in the character category. But I feel like I do have a bit more to say in this for the category of just acting. I feel like... While Keaton nails the Batman persona, like whenever he is in the costume, he is great. But whenever he is, whenever he is Bruce Wayne, he is bland and just not quite as entertaining to me. I can't quite explain why. Christian Bale just gives a much more compelling performance in both roles to me. Even if Christian Bale doesn't necessarily nail the voice all that much. 
Heath Ledger's Joker versus Jack Nicholson's Joker. Nicholson is very fun to watch. He's very over the top. And he, I, I enjoy his performance a lot. But Heath Ledger, again, is a whole nother ball game for me. Like, anytime he's on screen, it's electrifying. Like, I'm just gripped to my chair. I'm My eyes are glued to the screen every time he's on screen. Dark Knight wins in the acting category. Yes, I basically think I already covered this acting whenever I said characters, so that's another 10 point for The Dark Knight. Okay, okay, cool. Now we're going to move on to music, and this is a very interesting one. Uh, for me, Batman 89 actually takes the cake for me here. I feel like Danny Elfin's musical score is more memorable. He created the definitive Batman theme so much that even like the Lego game, the Lego Batman game, used Danny Elfman's Batman theme instead of what Hans Zimmer did for The Dark Knight. I think what Hans Zimmer did for The Dark Knight and the whole trilogy is still pretty good, but his music also kind of tends to sound very similar to his other soundtracks. So I think Danny Elfman's score just stands out a lot more and is more memorable. So, Batman 89 wins for the music category for me. I um, definitely agree with you on those, but Batman 89 also depended a lot on Prince to carry them with their music, while The Dark Knight was just a lot of thrilling orchestra to set a perfect tone in this crime movie. Um, the tone that The Dark Knight used was so perfectly in um, in sync with the movie that I don't even know if that many other movies have accomplished something like this, except the John Williams ones. Um, Batman 89 just had basic music that, I mean, any superhero movie could do with their movie. So Batman, the dark Knight definitely blew me away with how they did the music. So I think that they won this 10 points here. Okay. So you're giving the points to the dark Knight. I'm giving the points to Batman. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so now we're going to move on to cinematography. Uh, for me, Batman 1989, again, takes the cake in the cinematography category for me. I think while Christian, I mean, while uh, Christopher Nolan crafted some very beautiful shots for The Dark Knight. Like, a shot that really stands out to me is that one where Batman is just kind of standing next to the rubble after Rachel dies. That shot is beautiful. Oh. But I feel like Batman 89 is just a much more visually interesting to mo movie to look at for me. I love the costume. I love the gothic look of the city. Gotham is just way more interesting to look at to me in this movie. And there's a lot of iconic imagery in Batman 89, such as that shot whenever the uh, the Batwing is flying over the moon, or that final shot of Batman standing over the ledge with the bat signal in the background. Beautiful, beautiful, iconic shots that define the the iconography of Batman. So I think, in terms of cinematography, Batman 1989 wins for me again. Well. My original thing was that Batman 89 is kind of plain on most scenes. They were all great, but they were kind of plain compared to The Dark Knight, which is appealing with every single scene. But I think you just convinced me otherwise, and I completely agree with everything you just said. Points really? go to Batman 89. So I actually convinced you to change your mind. That's actually super yes, interesting. Sir. I'm I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, overall, if we tally up the scores here, uh, Dark Knight actually takes the cake. But I do feel like Batman 1989 put up a pretty good fight. But, yeah, overall, uh, Dark Knight won. I, I guess we shouldn't have ex expected anything different more I think about it. But <laughs> <laughs> Still, both uh, really great films and both iconic in the Batman history. Yeah, I agree. Thank you guys for watching, and if you wanted to keep watching our videos, please stay tuned. We will keep uploading for you guys, and join us next time on Battle of the Films.